Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Kirsten's Corner. Today I have a spoiler-free book review for Christmas Cupid by Ilsa Madden Mills. As far as the format of this video, I'm going to do this in the same fashion that I do all my other book reviews. So I'll give you a summary of the book and then I'll go through all of my categories that I talk about. So character, setting, plot, execution, writing, and entertainment. <laughs> So as far as a summary of the book, this is a short Christmas novella that follows our two main characters. We do get dual point of views, which I absolutely love. First, we follow our main female character named Iris, and Iris is the sister of a pro hockey player in the NHL, and he's on like the winningest team in the league. She's been kind of down on her luck lately. First, her boyfriend of many years broke up with her and her brother brought her a dog, which is so sweet, who she calls Bob. And then we have our main character, Kyler, who is our male lead, and he's actually on the same hockey team as Iris's brother. However, he has an injury, so he's not able to play. And both of them kind of being down on their luck, the brother and teammate set them up to both go to this cabin. It's called the Cupid Cabin, I believe. And it is in the mountains of Tennessee, which I didn't know they had mountains, but I guess that's my ignorance showing. And neither of them know that the other is going to be there. However, when they show up, they obviously discover the other person and then they end up being completely snowed in and there's absolutely no way to get out. And unfortunately, they have a history where they do not like each other. Iris absolutely hates Kyler and Kyler's kind of cocky. He's not in a great headspace because of his injury and he just thinks that Iris is a brat. However, of course, in classic Christmas and romance book fashion, the two end up falling for each other. So I don't rate books anymore. I haven't rated a book all year. However, I do rate the different categories of the book. So I guess theoretically I could just average all of those numbers together, but I don't want to. So first, as far as characters, I gave the character development a four out of five stars. I actually thought that the characters were the highlight of the book. So like I said, we have Iris and she is a cowboy boot designer in Nashville. And then we have Kyler, who is the professional hockey player, and I thought that the character development was done actually very well for a cute little novella. Plus, we have Bob slash Puck, the little dog, who plays a major role in the book, and I'm not really a dog person. I'm not really a pet person or animal person, So, but I did enjoy the dog in this book. As far as the plot, I gave it a 3 out of 5. It was fine. It was a hate to love brother's best friend romance. Nothing more, nothing less. As far as the setting, I gave the setting a 4 out of 5. It was set in a secluded cabin at Christmas, snowed in, really can't get much better than that. There's a hot tub, there's a fireplace, the heat doesn't work, so they have to sleep in front of the fireplace, real vibey. And being, you know, a New England girly, I'm a sucker for a nice snowy time. Uh, as far as writing, I gave it a 3 out of 5. It's kind of a run-of-the-mill little novella, not the next great work of literary genius, but absolutely not bad in any way. As far as execution, I think the author did exactly what they set out to do. Nothing more, and again, nothing less, but it was super enjoyable. It was a cute Christmas holiday novella. Uh, hate to love, great character development, nothing to complain about. Really cute, fun time. And then entertainment, I gave the book a 3 out of 5. This is more so personal. It took me so long to read this book because I was reading it during studying for finals, which obviously kind of put a damper on it for me. However, that doesn't speak to the book at all, so I can't really fairly do that. <laughs> but that is it. If you have read this book or plan to read this book, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and for continuing to support my channel. And until next time, happy reading. Bye!